Good morning. It's so very nice to see so many familiar faces and community members here today. Thank you all for coming. I'm Franca Liberti, Community Relations Liaison at Aunt Martha's Youth Services. Welcome to Aunt Martha's Joliet Community Health Center. This is an exciting day for Aunt Martha's and I think for the entire community. We have several people who want to share their thoughts on the work that is about to start here and what it will mean to the community in the years to come. To move things right along, I'd like to introduce the CEO of Aunt Martha's, Mr. Raul Garza. Thank you, Franca. Good morning. What a beautiful day. Uh, I was saying to the mayor, who needs to be in Miami? Just come and show me at March. 75 degrees. She put me on the Department of Tourism, Mayor. Uh, three things that I want to talk about briefly that uh, have really been critical to this project. It's history, how the project came to be, the partnerships that are ever so critical to Aunt Martha's, and a little bit about Aunt Martha's model, healthcare model. It was about three and a half years ago that Paul Pollack and Ruth Colby of Silver Cross Hospital approached Aunt Martha's with an idea of establishing a health center on the very site that we stand on. Their vision was clear and their commitment to the community was and is strong. They wanted to ensure that a healthcare resource was in place on the Silver Cross campus, recognizing the need for quality healthcare for the growing medically underserved community. We all recognize the tremendous work that the Will County Health Center and the Will County Health Department have been involved in in responding to that need. However, I think we realize that the needs have grown to an overwhelming degree and that more resources are required. About eight months after we started that conversation with Silver Cross, the federal government made available to FQACs like Aunt Martha's under the American Recovery Reinvestment Act a capital grant opportunity that was competitive. The need for a health center on the Joliet East Side was clear, and Aunt Martha's request for those funds was strengthened by Silver Cross's very generous donation of the land that we stand on today, in addition to a continuing commitment of a community grant that would assist in underwriting the high cost of health care to the neediest population. When all was said and done, Aunt Martha's was the recipient of the largest award in Illinois in the third largest award in the country. Yeah. And half of that award is being dedicated to the community of Joliet. The partnerships that have been so critical in Aunt Martha's, this has really been a story about the community. It's about the community coming together to capitalize on an unprecedented and historic opportunity. And we're here today to celebrate that community spirit. We're also here today to recognize the individuals and organizations who have lent their wisdom and support is about uh, in, a, in, a, in anticipation of, of about in anticipation of what we're going to undertake. First, I want to recognize Paul Pollock, Ruth Colby, the Silver Cross Hospital Board of Directors, its leadership, its staff, for all the support they've given us over the last three and a half years, and their continued support going forward. lady that needs no introduction uh, because her involvement in the community has been so tremendous. Miss Margie Woods in Silver Cross Healthy Community Commission. Uh, United Way of Will County. Thank you. J.D. JD Ross in the Will Grundy Medical Clinic. The Spanish Community Center. Dykstra and Trinity Services are good friends. The University of St. Francis and the University's Health and Wellness Cl Clinic under the great leadership of Mary Marigos. And again, we want to recognize and thank the members of the Will County and Joliet uh, government whose support so much is so much appreciated and whose guidance is so essential. Uh, Will County Executive Larry Walsh. Will County Board Member, uh, or Will County Board Chairman, Jim Mustas, the Mayor of Joliet, Tom Durante, City Manager, Tom Thanis, and his staff. Thank you all. I want to take a quick minute to 
thank and uh, recognize the local business community in Joliet who have supported us over the many years and the new friends that who are supporting us now. Uh, Joe Whalen and Martin Whalen. Our new friend Harish Bott from Bassinger Pharmacy is local uh, Joliet Pharmacy. Uh, the Joliet Region Chamber of Commerce. The MAP Group. And our new friends, Lindeen Brick at Mirror Consulting, right in downtown Joliet. Okay, finally, a little bit about Aunt Martha's uh, healthcare model. What are we bringing to the community? And I'll respond to that with three quick questions. What does healthcare at Aunt Martha's look like? What is the health center going to help the community accomplish? And what can the community expect? So I think many of us are already familiar with the concept of coordinated care, which is a model being promoted at the state and national levels as a way of helping ensure that all the various health components come together to work together on behalf of patients. Coordinated care isn't new in Aunt Martha's, in idea nor in practice. And that's not to say that we have all the answers. What I can tell you is that we've developed an integrated model of care between our social service programs and our health care services that focuses on finding ways to make sure that clients and patients walking through the, the doors of Aunt Martha's have an opportunity to have their needs met. It's a model that's being constantly refined at Aunt Martha's, but we are proud of the fact that, that uh, patients are two times more likely than patients at other health centers to receive dental and behavioral health services. And we're proud of the fact that over 50% of our patients take advantage of multiple services at Aunt Martha's. What's exciting about this project, building it from the ground up, is the opportunity to involve so many different stakeholders right from the very beginning. I've asked the Illinois Latino Family Commission's chairman, Mr. Henry Martinez, who's been a community organizer for well over 60 years. 50 years, okay. <laughs> I thought you started when you were 30. Uh, fellow Commissioner Roberto Ramirez, who was the founder of Chicago's first Spanish public radio station, and Carlos Soleil, who's the founder and publisher of a nationally recognized healthcare publication, Un Buen Doctor, to spearhead community focus groups and meetings in an effort to best understand how we can provide the greatest culturally sensitive services to the community. And it's not that we don't do this already, but in working in so many communities over 40 years, we know that every community has a unique complexion and spirit. And we want to understand that as we come into Joliet to provide healthcare. We're also talking about building a state-of-the-art facility that's more than just another clinic. This is our chance, the community's chance, to take an important step towards doing what Mayor Geronti spoke about recently, reinventing itself, reinventing the community of Joliet. Finally, when I think about healthcare, what health care might look like in Aunt Martha's Joliet Community Health Center, I envision four things. One, a place where patients receive high-quality care from integrated teams of providers not just from Aunt Martha's, but from the Will County Health Department, from the Will County Community Health Center, from Silver Cross Hospital, from all community providers coming together. It's a place where groups like Trinity Services and the Healthy Community Commission can come together to share ideas, strategies, and address concerns so that Aunt Martha's can take part of a healthcare network and respond collectively to their needs. It's a place where people who people who learn new skills at the Spanish Community Center can find jobs in this clinic and enable them to take care of their families and respond to their neighbors' needs. And finally, it's a place where our leaders, the leaders before us, can turn to as an example of, good th of what good things can be accomplished when a community comes together to do what's in the best interest of patients. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. And it starts today as we break ground ceremonially, ceremonially, but we'll do it, uh, I think, in three weeks uh, formally. And we're excited about that work, very excited about the work. And uh, I can't tell you how grateful we are to have you with us today celebrating this day for the community of Joliet.
Thank you.